Hi, praise the Lord. Today, I would like to discuss with you on the incident which has happened in Jesus' life. This is explained in Matthew Gospel verses 22 to 33 and Mark's Gospel verses 45 to 52. After five loaves and two fishes distributing to 5,000 people miracle in forest, Jesus wanted to spend some quiet time with his father by praying. Uh, so he, uh, even in his busy schedule, uh, spending time with thousands of people by teaching them like what is God's way and even healing so many people and Jesus was very busy, but even then, like, he found some time and he kept some time, which is apart, to spend time with his Father, God Almighty. So, today we might have shown so many exceptions to God that we are so much busy and we have blocked calendars and we are very tight schedules in our work. So, uh, we might have shown these many, but we should find some time to spend with God ev every day. Okay, and Jesus compelled people and his disciples to go to Bethsaida, which is nearby village. And initially, people started. There were so many people, like it's five thousand men there, and there are so many women, and there are so many children there. So initially, people started there. There are there, there are some boards, and uh, people initiated, and uh, st they started and. Uh, followed by some more people and some more and since there are many like it took a lot of time and at last like disciples got the the chance to get into a boat since the wind is blowing heavy it was tough for them to lead the boat forward jesus left the people and disciples in the evening itself he left for the mountains to pray and it was around 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. in between like they saw uh, the, the people who are on the who are in in the boat like they saw a man who's walking on the water and he's coming near to the boat and uh, it is Jesus they don't know and Jesus want intended to pass by them but the disciples did not expect that Jesus can walk on water and then it was they, they thought it was ghost and cried out with the terror. And Jesus said, Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. So, so many times in Bible, like God always says, Do not fear. So the same way like Jesus said here to the, to the people that it is not ghost. It is I. And do not be afraid. So, uh, as and when listening to this thing, like Peter got excited and he wanted to uh, walk with water, walk with uh, Jesus on water. So Peter said, like, if you are Jesus and command me to come to you on the water, Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out and he started walking on water and uh, towards, towards Jesus, one step, two steps. And for a little distance, by seeing the wind, he became frightened and began and beginning to sink. So he cried out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his, uh, his hand and took hold of him and said to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? They both got into boat. The moment they got into the boat, the wind stopped. And it was smooth for them to, um, for the for the boat to reach Bethsaida, and the people who are in the boat uh, started worshiping him, and they said like, "You are certainly God's son." So today, uh, like there are so many people in and around. Like when we see, uh, even we like when we see uh, miracles which are happening in our churches. So that's when like you know we say hallelujah and we will give so much of thanksgiving and worshiping to the God, saying like you are the God, you are really God, you healed him, or uh, uh, these kind of expressions. When we uh, we do when we see a miracle with our with our eyes so like uh, after some time when we face some situation or we face some problem in our life that's when we have to stand firm and we have to lean on god so like peter 
when we depend on god and when we focus only on god it will be easy for us to go through toughest part of the life but when we looked into the worldly things to solve our problems that's when we will start to sink and we will start feeling the burden of our problems like the way peter called save me it is never late for us to call out to god for help god will come and hold your hand and he will carry out all your burdens of your problem let us pray god i am praying for the people who are listening to this sermon i don't know like these people and they don't i don't know the problem which they are facing na- right now you know everything you know the secrets of them and you you are the person like who is holding their hand hold their hand very tightly and raise them up from the burden of their problems solve their problems in jesus mighty name i pray amen